Yes! New motor's here. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Look at that. Oh, my God. Another pair of jet. Maverick at an 80 in the garage for a couple of days now and today's finally a beautiful day as you can see to finally open up the box and do this long process and I'm not familiar with what it's called but it apparently takes a good amount of time to get this thing ready. I've never heard of it. The orange looks so cool in the sun. Do you see that? The name that I wanted to name it uh, sounds almost orange like crush. Clementine. Oh god, it's I like know. a girl name. I think it'd be so cool to be like, oh, Clem and I are gonna go out and fly, and then he was like, it sounds like a disease or something. He gave us a bunch of medium shirts. Oh, 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 those are gifts. There's a bunch of like decals. So thank you very much, Paradip, for the awesome shirts. Obviously, they are sick. We really like that new logo, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and then we got some some killer stickers right here that we're gonna smack onto my dad's brand new RV. I'm sure he's gonna love it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Tonight, today, hello. What? That's the only reason mine. I came today, because I figured if there just could be a hoodie in there. <laughs> right now, you know, I'll get totally one of these mine. soon, but. I put 100 pounds of fuel in there. Yeah, of course, I'm pretty strong. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> so has this thing run, been run already? Yeah. I forgot. Oh wow. Yeah, that's like yeah. so much lighter than. I, I tell you what, this is gonna make a huge difference for you. Well, see this right here is the clutch, and so when you get so many RPMs, it opens up. Mm. When it opens up, then it catches. All oh, right, it's coming along. Check out that brand new Parajet Adam Mighty. <laughs> God, it's so good looking, and it's so light too. Compared to my Moster 185, which is on the other side of the truck, this thing is incredibly featherweight. Like, everything comes with it. So this is like the little assembly kit that you can just like... But that's... Oh, cute, what a cute little purse. Oh yeah. What do you think of the purse they sent you? It's not a purse. But it is very cool that they give you everything you need. Ooh, that's for the manual. Oh yeah, read before flight. It's in the computer. <laughs> the files are <laughs> in the computer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sits on the motor like this. So this is the fill mm -hmm. to put the oil in. On the bottom is the drain to take the oil out. Line up the holes on the casing with the holes uh, on the housing there. And you're going to make sure that they mate all the way. So that you're not mashing anything on the inside. Yeah, no, it looks like they are. So now come in and get one and just start it. This is what we call starting it. This is the right size. Stick this in like this and just twist it with your fingers. It'll give you a little help. You want to you want to go this one to the bottom one and then this one to that one. You want to do cross. Okay, so, so I go up next. Cool. You're gonna come over here and up high. Go. Okay, now drop. Yeah, in there. Okay, so we're done with the motor. I mean, we did one thing and that was it. It's ready to go. Now it's just putting a prop on after we build the frame, uh, the hoop and everything. So all you have to do is put this on, put oil in it, and done. Bring the arms forward. 
it. Oh god, it's so light. I can't, I'm like expecting it to be heavier. The thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that's loose. And then when you tighten it, one of the tricks is, is to assist it and it like uh, prolongs the life of the ratchet system. Then you come over here and you do the same thing to the other one. And once again, pushing on that and assisting it so that when it tightens, it's not doing all the work itself. And then the net is like nice and tight. And then here, after this point, you'll go over to where the pulley is and you'll, there's a little ring. You push this button that's like right here on the end of this. It takes that cap off and then boom, it's ready to go. And basically you just wanna make sure you feed this through right here. Cause if you feed it through some other way, then you're just gonna like rub on the net and that's when you could potentially like cut your net. I'm impressed, man. This is a, it's a beautifully well-crafted frame. Motor's gorgeous. It's super light. I can't believe how fast it goes together and how easy it is. And, and although you may look hard. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, <laughs> terrible. Uh, no, it's something to, I can't wait till mine comes in. Yeah, but you're getting the Moster 185, the same yeah, one that I've got. Different motor, but same. Right, right there, right there. So like every one of the, the Parajets comes with like this super easy manual that I was telling you about. And like the diagrams just make it super easy to understand. There's two different washers on each bolt. This one's a lock washer because it's got a cut. I don't know if you can see that, it's probably hard. Yeah. It's got a cut, that way it digs into to wherever it's tightened into and that way it doesn't let it back out. You want the flat washer up against the prop so it doesn't dig into the prop. Yeah. We're gonna take the motor down because we didn't bring any fuel and Tom brought some fuel but his isn't mixed at 50 to one and when you break in the motor it's 50 to one with a Motol 800. So we're just gonna take some of what out, what's in mine and siphon it into the new Adam 80 for the break-in. So we'll see how it goes. There we go. That's better. You're there. I'm gonna push this button, then start pumping the fuel through this line. Measure where, where it's at. Oh, you got gas on there already, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. Okay. Oh, there. Okay, go. Hey. Quiet. Quiet. I know, the thing is so quiet. It's not running. I know, it's barely noticeable. It's crazy that you can hear me talk while this thing is on. Hey, I'm talking to you. So right now we gotta do the, the break in really quick. You gotta do uh, a few different cycles, three times. It's all the information's in the, in the manual. We're gonna do that. This thing is like ridiculously smooth. Like it's super lightweight and very easy. Yep. So just finished the break in. Went really well, super smooth. Now uh, it's a little bit uh, thermic right now because you've got some shifts in the wind. And right now uh, I'm just gonna take it for a quick lap and get that maiden voyage in. But join me on the helmet cam, okay? So here we go. Heck yeah. There it is. Lemon time. Do it. Holy smokes. This thing's like featherweight and it's so smooth. You can hardly tell that there is a motor on your back. Little bumpy, little bumpy. But that's what's to be expected middle of the day. Leandra's over there. Like what? You just took my maiden voyage. All right. Let's go ahead and bring it this way. And full power. And we're climbing. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. I don't know what to do with this quietness. Wow. 
Wow, this thing is quiet. I'm the type of individual who likes to fly paramotors with the, like, lean, leaned up in my seat. I know a lot of people prefer to be leaned back. But for me, I don't like that. You know, it's kind of like there are some who like to fly, like in a, a sports car. Some sports cars are like lean back and, and you can adjust your harness to have that lean back kind of a feel. But for me, I like to be just straight up and down, not lean too far forward, not lean too far back, just right up and down. And right now I'm actually leaned a little forward out of my seat. But it's okay because if I arch my back backwards, I stay nice and snug in the seat. Though if this machine were gonna be my primary flyer, I might actually adjust it. But I'm not going to, because this is for Leandra, and Leandra weighs a significantly less amount than I do. Therefore, I think this is an ideal weight setting for her. I imagine for her, it'll keep her right at where my paramotor keeps me while I fly. <laughs> Look at the birds up there. You know, this is the second motor I've ever broken in. Both of them, both Parajets, one of them being the Atom 80, and the one that I fly is the Moster 185. The process is almost identical. To set up the motor, there's one thing that really stands out that's different, which is on the Atom 80, you have to fasten this component that goes onto the motor directly that uh, extends out, that, that then connects to the propeller. And I'm out of the seat. <laughs> like it's it's like an electric motor. Ah, oh, it's super smooth. Not as much power. Not as much power as the Moster 185. Um, so quiet too. Like. You probably don't even need this level of ear protection at all, just because, I mean, I did the run-up without any ear protection, and it feels like it's super smooth. 